Hey friends, today we are gonna cover the best tools to build forms for your website or any online forms that you need. Now, years ago, Typeform was the pretty form builder, but today there are a lot more options for you and I am gonna show you a free tool that is phenomenal and does everything you want. Let's get into it. Now, when Typeform came out, it was one of the best builders out there to have the most elegant, beautiful experience. But today, their updates seem very nominal in comparison to what the technology actually is. So what they offer is cool, but it doesn't really feel like they've stayed up with the latest tools, tricks, tips, and all of that. Now, what's also very surprising to me is their pricing. When we take a look here, it gets expensive fast. I have a client who pays over $1,000 a year for a Typeform, and they truly don't even offer a great service or that much value to the business. What is most surprising to me as well is that they limit the number of responses you can get. And this is where Tally, the tool I'm gonna cover right now and give you a high level overview on, is literally one of the best. What Tally offers for free absolutely blows Typeform out of the water. If you're building forms for your website, for leads, for surveys, whatever it is, you need to start using Tally. And they just did some updates that are really cool. So you may be asking, why am I so hyped about this? First of all, building forms in Tally is incredibly intuitive. Forget all this clunky like drag and drop editors and all of that. All you need to do is type in forward slash and you get the full experience. All of that is built in for free. Now, I've partnered with Tally to get you a special price if you are gonna use their paid plan. Use the link down below to get 50% off your first three months with Tally today. On top of that, their built-in integrations that are for free is just insane. And if you want to embed the form in a lot of different ways, check out these options right here. First, you can embed it onto your website, so you could put it on basically any page that you just wanna drop in some code. All of that's built in. From there, if you want a pop-up, you could do that as well. Look at this, so cool. Tally, if you want it as a link, you could do that as well. You could also do custom links. So you could do forms.yourdomain forward slash feedback or forward slash next step, whatever that is. I just love how you could personalize it, brand it, and make it so unique to your business while there is no limitation in the number of responses that you get. Check this out. This is what they put at the very top of their site that differentiates them from a lot of other tools. Unlimited forms and submissions for free. I just used this for an event where there was a very big marketing budget and the form was quite robust. There was conditional logic, there was a signature involved. We had 10,000 submissions. I think it was like just shy of 9,000 on that key form and then other forms, but that key form had 9,000 submissions. Imagine if we were paying the price with individual forms like it would be insane the enterprise price probably would have been a few thousand dollars and one last time just to make sure we're on the same page this is everything that they offer for free you can build beautiful forms for free unlimited forms submissions you could collect payments collect signatures a custom thank you you could have a redirect on completion you could sync it with a google sheet for free you could integrate it with notion which is huge again built in for free. You could send it to a Notion database, uh, Airtable integration, Zapier, Make, Webhooks. You could uh, close forms on a limited date. You could prevent duplicate submissions. You could self email notifications. You could do a lot. There's just so much built in here. But then from there, let's say you do wanna to go to pricing. Let's just say you do need more of what they offer. You need to do a little bit more. Well, if you pay yearly, it's $26 per month. If you pay monthly, it's $29. Now, again, type form, $25. This is probably yearly, yeah. Let's take a look, $29 here, you could only have 100 submissions. There and there alone is already a ridiculous comparison. They don't even compare. Tally is literally the best out there. So peace out. Type form, let's take a look at Tally. Now, let's take a look at the actual form builder experience. I have a form that I've started and I've built here that is really um, already designed, but I do wanna show you kind of how I got here. So let me make some space from what I currently have. The first thing is the magic of forward slash. So I just hit forward slash and here are all the options, all the blocks that you can use, 
on your site. You could do a short answer, a long answer, multiple choice, check boxes, a drop down, a multi select. And as you can see, the list goes on. You could add a signature, you could add a payment, you could add a new page, you could add thank you, you could have headers, text, dividers, labels, hidden fields, all of that good stuff. You need to embed images. You wanna have people upload images, you can do that. You could also have these advanced blocks and then these repeat in a way that are the, just the input block themselves because these include the question. What I mean is if I click here, it's gonna have the title and the question. And then if I go to short answer, input block, it's just the block itself. So as you can see here, I just use the block itself and then just put the text inside of it. Um, it makes the form a little bit like smaller, a little bit tighter and neater. What is also really important with most form builders is that you could actually customize it. So if I hover here and I hit customize, as you can see here, you have a bunch of customization options built in. There are some that are only for advanced and then this custom code area, which is more for advanced. But again, if you really need to get into the nuance of that, then it is very useful. You can see I have some customizations here that help just reduce spacing to make the form really tight because a lot of my forms are on mobile. And so I just wanna make the experience really, really, really specific. Uh, in our use case, but you have a lot of control here just out of the box with fonts You have a ton of options. Most of these as I look at it seem to be Google fonts um, With some really really cool options And then you could also select themes if you want to go light or dark mode and then go from there now Let's just build some key elements of the form So I'm gonna do a short answer and I'm gonna do name I'll do actually first name as you can see here. I could just basically I don't even need my mouse I could just go through it uh, I could do short answer again, do last name. You could see the required field and then they all have this drop down here that are all customizable. If later on you need to change it, you could further do that and customize what this specific field is with relevant options. Further down the page, you could see there's drop downs. What I really like about drop downs that are interesting is that you could actually do something like this. So let's just go to um, a section here. Let's just do like, let's say we need to say state but we need to do it in a way that is like a drop down, not a multi-select, but just an input. And then I need to upload 50 states. Well, I don't technically wanna do it one by one. You could do a bulk insert option where you could click here and then basically just drop them in. And so, boom, I have this list of states here, which I'll drop in. Let me do that again, boom. I just dropped them in, I'll do insert. Now on the back end, this might look a little confusing as you're getting started, but what you could do is just hit play right here to like preview it and you'll see how it looks. And boom, it's right there with all the states. And then you could easily just start typing it in. So if I start typing in California, boom, it shows up, it's there and it's all built in literally just two seconds. Now, some other things that Tally offers that I do wanna touch on. The first one is gonna be conditional logic. Honestly, this is huge. Imagine a form where questions appear or disappear based on someone's answers previously in the form. This makes forms smarter and more engaging depending on the responses. So let's take a look at it now. Let's say for example, you want to offer people a way to upload some content, whether it would be written or via video. Now you don't wanna give them both options because basically they're just gonna do one and then you wanna make sure that it's required. So this is how you can do it. First, you could add in the question. Well, I'm just gonna basically do a drop down, which here it would be yes or no. From here, they would say, or let's say written. So in this case, I'm just gonna do written or video type of response. Again, you could adjust this how you like. And then down here, I'm gonna add in conditional logic. Again, forward slash, and I'm just typing in the word conditional, press enter. Then it says, when specifically type of response is, you'll see all your options here, is, is not, blah, 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 is written, then show, which I'll put it right here. Let me do long, I'm gonna do long answer. Then jump to page, calculate, require answer, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna do show specifically this block right here, which will be uh, written story. And then I could click here and it says written story there, so that's good. And then here it is going to say written story, boom. Just like that, I've added it in. Oh, and the last thing we need to do here is we'll just click here and then we will hide this by default so boom, that is now hidden. And then I will hit preview. 
Then when I go to type of response here, if I select written, you'll see, boom, it shows up right there. You have so much control, so much that you could do with this. It's all built in, which is really, really cool. Now, if I was gonna finish this out, what I would do is upload, file upload. I would add that in and you could see it here. And what I'll do here is I'll actually click here and duplicate it um, and just drag that down, Command D on the keyboard. And then if the response is video, show the video block or the file upload block here and then get rid of this block there. Boom, just like that. And I'll go here and then I will hide this. Just like that, we've built it out. Again, go to preview. If I select written, it shows it. If I select video, it shows it. And as you can see, it's required. So that way I can make sure I get a response here. So intuitive, so easy, have it built. And now we can go into the editor and do more. What's also awesome is that if you need to build out a custom quote, you could actually have Tally build uh, and do calculations for you right inside the form. Furthermore, if you need to have hidden fields and pass data through URL parameters, you could do that as well. Now, again, all of this is free and unlimited responses. All right, now let's talk about responses. This is really powerful. I wanna take a look at a few key features that they offer that you wanna keep in mind. All right, here we are. Once we hit publish on the form, it is now able to go live and you'll see there are a few key things here that we have to use. First and foremost, you could take a look at submissions. It will list all the submissions here and there is a tool that you could see partial submissions. Now that might be paid, but it is a really cool feature of the tool. If we go to share, this is where we get the link. And if you do add a custom URL, you could use that here for all your forms as well. If you further want to embed the form, you could do that here. If you want to create this into a template, you could do that as well. And if you want any of my forms as a template as well, let me know, I'll do that and I'll add it to the description down below. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that I did have a form that had about 9,000 submissions. As you can see here, it was actually closer to about 11,000 because we had a ton of partial submissions. Now, this is really useful information because for me, I was able to gauge if a form was working or not working or if people were getting caught at a certain question as well. And so this was great data and information on the back end for me and I could export all of this into a CSV if I needed to. I didn't need to because the integrations were awesome. All right, now here is a list of integrations. Now, just taking a look at this, this makes me so happy. This is unique for every individual form. So if you wanna set up a Google Sheet for a form, you could do that. All you do is hit connect, you log into your Google account, and then you create a new sheet for it. You could also do this with Notion and connect it to a database. You could do it with Airtable, you could do it with Slack, and you could also do it with webhooks, which is exactly how Zapier works, and connect it to basically any tool. Down below, you'll see a lot more options, and some of these are paid, but some of these just connect through Zapier, which is free. So most of everything you could do for free with integrations on the back end. And once you add those integrations in, you'll see them here show up as active and live. So if you ever wanna pause them or turn them on, turn them off, you could do that. Also, if you have a form that has no Google Sheet and you have a ton of submissions and you add the Google Sheet later, well, it can move all the old submissions into the Google Sheet. It is honestly so flawless and easy to use. All right, now let's take a look at settings. Here, there are a ton of options. As you can see, some of them are pro. So the partial submissions I mentioned earlier is a pro feature and removing the branding is a pro feature. But as you can see, there are a lot of things that you could do here for free. So you could send an email to yourself automatically if you want to. You could add password protection. All of this here is free to use on the account. One of the ones I love the most is save answers for later. So if somebody goes through it, but they don't finish the form, they still have their answers saved in the form later on. I also love the progress bar, which works really nice. If you are trying to create a type form kind of form, well, what you could do is if you want one question per page, let me go back into the editor experience here. You can do it where you basically just add a new page between each one of these. And it's honestly not that hard. 
boom, just like that, we're able to add in a page. And then if we need to adjust the text, we could do that. We could customize the look and feel, but from here, we're able to go through and you could even test it where you don't necessarily fill out the field, even though it's required, you could test it and hit continue anyway, and then go through that process and test your form. At the top, we have this progress bar going through all the pages, right? So it's a really cool experience. And then when you're all done and you either want to send a link to the form or you want to embed it on your website, you could do that in a lot of different ways. And let's take a deeper look at the embed option. So if I click here, you'll see that you get all three options that we were just looking at right here that you could play with and adjust and then be able to build out the form the way you like, which is just so cool, easy to use. Um, gives you a lot of options, customizations. Again, it's all built in, all really easy, just, really, really intuitive. Now, the final thing worth mentioning in this video, and I will do more content on this, so definitely drop comments down below if you have specific questions or you wanna see me actually build the form in depth uh, and use some of the key features here. But one of the things I love here is that you could add a logo, add a cover as well, and customize this page a bit if you do wanna make it a little bit more pretty. This is like Notion, it feels like Notion, it's really intuitive that way. Every block is separated, so it's really easy for me to go around and let's say, oh, I wanna move this up or down, I just select everything and I could just easily drag and move it around the page the way I like. So. If I wanted to go on the second page, boom, I could do that right there and we're done. All right, and now let's do this. Let's add a logo, which is just any kind of icon and then add a cover. So here we go. We could upload an image. We could add a link specifically um, into here for this uh, icon. And then if we wanna remove it, we could do that. For this image up here, we could change the cover. We could go to Unsplash, grab an image. Let's just say we grab this right here. Boom, now we have that as an image. And again, you could add your logo, you could add an icon. And if you ever do wanna adjust the colors, you could easily do that as well uh, on the page to whatever you like. Now, if you got value from this video, please use that link down below, even if you are gonna use the free plan with Tally. That way they can see all the people who have come from this video to start using the tool. And with that, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.